Hello, uh, everybody, and welcome to HOCL Oxidation, a mechanism experience. We're going to be talking about the mild oxidation prowess of hypochlorous acid. Let's take a look at the mechanism. First things first, how does this thing go down? Because you'll notice that we don't seem to have HOCl in our reagents. Well, whenever we react bleach, NaOCl, with acetic acid, CH3COOH, we end up with the mild oxidizing agent of hypochlorous acid. So I'm just going to show um, how that takes place. It's just a very simple proton exchange. Our sodium hypochlorite, or our hypochlorite from the bleach, rather, grabs onto that proton. These electrons kick onto here, and that's going to end up giving us our hypochlorous acid, our active oxidizer in this reaction, and then acetate is just kind of a byproduct. So this is how the two reagents listed above create HOCl. Let's pick up where the HOCl actually comes in. The first step is our alcohol reagent is going to do, it's going to participate in a proton transfer reaction, so an acid base reaction. So this is going to happen, and we're going to get our first set of intermediates. Okay, so what we've done is we've created um, our molecule with a water in the middle of it. So what is the significance of having this water uh, in the middle of our organic molecule? That's right, water is a ba -ba 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 -ba. good Lehman group. Oh. So it's going to make like a good Lehman group and leave. How, you might ask? At the hands of our hypochlorite molecule right here. So the way this is going to go down is electrons are going to attack the carbon right here. Clean that up a little bit. And the water is going to jump ship. So this in effect is actually just an SN2 reaction that occurs in the middle of our reaction. So then the last step in order to get our oxidized product is so there's hydrogens on this carbon here that I didn't depict before, but now I'm going to depict at least one of the hydrogens because it's going to be involved in the chemistry that we're going to see. So the last step is just going to be our water is going to grab onto a hydrogen. These electrons are going to collapse in to form a double bond. And then the chloride, Cl- is an excellent leaving group, very, very, very weak base. So it's going to jump ship, which is going to give us our final product, an aldehyde. Um, you can depict the other hydrogen if you'd like. Doesn't matter, both ways are right. And then remember in the process, we're going to also have given off chloride and H3O+. And that concludes our mechanism of the oxidation of um, an alcohol by hypochlorous acid HOCl the mild oxidant. Thank you for watching. Have a terrific day. Actually, I'm back. Just to point this out, this last step here was an E2 uh, elimination reaction to form that double bond. Okay. Again, thank you for watching. And again, have a terrific day.